Our ACDP leader, Kenneth Meshwe, caused a stir and was heckled as he spoke about the South African government's intervention in the Gaza conflict between Israel and Palestine. Speaker, I now want to tell this House why I don't believe that this government's efforts will yield any lasting fruit or even stop the hostilities between Israel and Palestine, particularly in Gaza. But, Speaker, before I tell this House what I believe can and will help end the war in Gaza, I want to firstly express the ACDP's sadness at the tremendous loss of innocent lives and destruction of property in Gaza. That is why I believe that this government and the international community can end the war in Gaza within three weeks to a month if they want to. They will have to do the following if they are serious about ending the war. Firstly, they should prevail on Hamas to release all remaining hostages hidden in their tunnels. Secondly, the ANC and international community should order Hamas to destroy all tunnels under Gaza, particularly those leading into Israel. Thirdly, Hamas and the international community must accept the right of Israel to exist within safe and secure borders. Without these fundamental agreements in place, that war will never end and the dream of a two-state solution will never materialize. Speaker, if it is not possible to live in peace next to a neighbor who has vowed to remove you from the face of the earth, it is not possible for Israel to live in peace next to Hamas who has vowed to repeat the despicable atrocities they carried out on the 7th of October last year, which reportedly included rape, murder, abductions and beheadings. The ACDP longs to see peace between Israel and Palestine, but this won't be possible up until the right of Israel to exist within safe and secure borders has been acknowledged and agreed to. Taking Israel to the International Court of Justice will not improve the situation there. Honorable Government members, order, honorable members. Heckling and so on is not such a bad idea. But if you drown a speaker, you are really going beyond the bounds. Please proceed. Honorable Mr. I, I, I want to remind the ANC today that Isaiah 54, 17 says that no weapon that is formed against Israel shall prosper and every tongue that rises against her in judgment, she will condemn. ANC, you have gone too far and your judgment As you conclude, is Honorable Member. When the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob said he will bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse her, he was not joking, but he meant every word he said. You have invited the curse on yourself, and you are going to get it. Responding to the President's... Your time is up.